Welcome VR lovers, welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to talk about how you can change your avatar with our package uh, multiplayer shooter for Quest and Photon Pun 2. So if you do not how you do not know how to find the prefab we're using for the player, you can go ahead to our uh, settings menu and go to the player avatar here and we'll automatically select the player avatar. Double click on it and you will see that we have this mesh here that contains a weapon attached to the mesh and inside of that game object we have a structure of bones that will be the rigged uh, bone uh, structure that we use to move the player and then we have the mesh so we have to replicate this information for the new um, avatar we want to use in our game in our game so to do that we're going to uh, show with an example how you can add a different avatar we are going to use this gothic girl here and the first step you have to follow is to go to rig and select humanoid otherwise it won't work you can go ahead and configure it and check that everything is working properly so we have the body the head and the left and right hands that are completely rigged you have to check that otherwise it won't work and the next step it will consist uh, in going to the um, resources folder in which the player avatar is and you have to drag and drop the new avatar that is in models so we're going to put it here inside the main player body very important okay the next step will be disable the soldier so if you disable it you will see the new mesh then you can adjust a little bit the sizes in order to make it fit to the correct uh, geometry that we have established as you can see with 1.1 it's okay in the scale the next step is to replicate all the things that the shoulder of VR has so it has an animator it has a capsule collider and it has also the photon animator view so we have to put all of this information inside the gothic uh, game object that will be the new avatar so let's go ahead and do it uh, step by step first of all we have to select the animator that will be the controller soldier that is the same one as this one here and then we can go ahead and copy one component by component and add it inside the new avatar so we can copy that and we can put it inside the correct position then we can copy the photon view too and we can copy uh, and place, paste it there then we can do the same thing with the Oculus follower we're going to put it there and uh, finally we're going to do the same thing with the, uh, the photo animator view okay I'm pasting things because it's a little bit more uh, well it's faster than going and adding things one by one because we have the parameters here that are set then we have to drag the photon animator into the the photon view so here we have to put the photon animator inside the photon view okay the next step is to configure the Oculus follower so you can see that we have the player avatar that is here then we have to set these ones to true then the distance graph le um, grab hand left center distance graph right and these ones here we don't have to touch them then we have the all the references that are also uh, a constant uh, reference to the values that are here so we don't have to change it either but for the head bone as you can see it's using the old head bone of the soldier so you have to go to the new model you are going to use and uh, select the head that is inside the neck so you can change it there easily 
the foot are the same and the animator attached to the soul in this case to the avatar is going to be this one here so we have to change that too and these parameters are uh, completely experimental so we don't have to change them we have to change also um, some well you, you can adapt if you want the offset and everything in function of the new uh, player but in this case I'm going to keep on with the same values so there is nothing that is going to uh, prevent this from working so let's hit play and check if everything works well we'll see that uh, inside lobby you can join a room manually as I have shown in the previous uh, the previous uh, tutorials and now if we center on the player out a clone you will see that it's completely positioned properly as the shoulder was and we have a completely new model as you can see here okay that rotates with the head going up and going down and moves accordingly with the animations there is no problem with it Things that we have to uh, keep in mind whenever we change our avatar are uh, that the weapon maybe is going to disappear as it happened here. So you will have to add a weapon or an element to the hand. To do so, you have to go another time to uh, the prefab. And inside, in this case, the uh, right hand that will be in the spine uh, right shoulder, right arm, inside the hand, you can add a weapon of your choice. In this case we're going to create a cube and we're going to add it to the to the hand. This cube is going to be scaled a little bit and this will be the weapon of the player. Let's add a texture in order to make it uh, different from the rest well, let me see which, which texture I can add the one, this one okay this one is okay and the last thing is uh, you have to create a nozzle a weapon nozzle in order to be able to shoot and the orientation of this nozzle has to be the same as the one that was in the initial uh, initial um, soldier avatar. So you have to check the position of it. And will be this one here. So you have to see that it's a bit different from the one that we have. It's in fact it's completely wrong. So we can copy the rotation if you want and put it inside or you can go ahead and rotate the axis in order to make them fit so as you can see we have to rotate this axis like this well that was too much it's 90 degrees 90 degrees something like this okay minus 90 and uh, I think like that will, will work because we have to face this axis here only in order to shoot so that's okay and uh, let's test it well sorry I forgot something important uh, inside the prefabs again you have to go now to the player avatar and inside the weapon shooting okay you have to check the new nozzle here so you go to the new nozzle that will be this one here now you can see it that's inside the cube there will be a new weapon we have created and hit play and it should work now let's see Lobby, join lobby manually.
and at least it's shooting and it's shooting in the right direction now okay as you can see in the different uh, scene and uh, finally if you want to check if the hands work properly you can go to the um, to this inside the OVR controller and you will see how it works.